Hey guys, Variety here. Welcome to today's video in which we're going to be having a look at all the craftable furniture in Palio. So by craftable furniture, I'm specifically talking about items that you can craft that are in your accomplishment log. So for example, all the way from the log cabin down to the Elkmas set. It will not include the makeshift set because this is not a set you make and I'm not going to include a lot of extra items for example from the black market because they're not crafted they're bought you'll see here a bunch of items like carpets and portraits and you know just a lot of extra stuff that makes your house look a lot better and would make this video a lot more beautiful if I put them in there but it kind of goes against the point of the video to show you the sets so you can decide on kind of what sets that you want to go with when building your house. So while I may have put a carpet or two in there, I've left a majority of extra items out. So let's go and have a look at the T1 item furniture. This is the log cabin set. So this is the first tier of items that you're going to be crafting in Palia when it comes to furniture making. As you can see, it's like a rough wooden style, which I'm sure you'll recognize from many other like survival games in which you're building your basic base with just like roughly cut logs. It's a pretty cool and just familiar furniture set because it's set in so many other games. You have some couple extra thing here, like a log pile, which I'm sure you've seen in every survival game ever. You know, you get some lights, you get some tables and the seat. We also have a plant here. So this carpet here isn't actually crafted. This is one of the items extra I mentioned. And then we have the, the kind of leafy wallpaper, which I think fits quite well with this set. I like this set because it just feels so familiar, even if it is not necessarily the most visually appealing set. We're now going to look at the homestead set. So the homestead set is the next tier above the log cabin set. And as you can see, it is still wooden, but it's much more refined and less rough like the log cabin. It looks much more, a little bit more modern and just well done. Looks like more effort's been put in. There's also many more pieces, for example, like this kettle and these couple extra pieces here and the lights. There's just generally more little pieces like these up here that could be put into other sets. So for example, you could combine this here with the pots and pans over here with other kitchen items to build a kitchen, right? So I feel like this, the homestead set has a lot of smaller items that can be used in other sets to enhance them. But as you can see, the whole set, you know, by itself, it's just kind of, a little bit bland and definitely needs more, you know, objects from other sets and colorants. I'm a big fan of the lights. I do like the lights and I do like the candles. Candles are definitely a big fave of mine. So I'll definitely be using them throughout my build after I put it together. Next up is the Kilima set. So the Kilima set is kind of like the homestead, homestead set, but it is a little bit higher in quality but a bit rougher as well while not looking like the log cabin you see a bunch of stuff here like some food and some bushes and stuff like that you can really put into other sets i think if you combine the items from the kilima set with the homestead set in here you have a lot of items you can kind of shove into your house and make them feel more homey we have a couple extra items over here that you can also put in like the cup so over here we have the kilima village map now if you've played palio for a while, you may notice that this is not Kilima Village. Uh, hopefully they fix that. Over here, I put this beside the fireplace originally. I think that's really cool. I like the lighting. The lighting is good. I like the lighting in here, but I definitely like the more hanging down lights than the set in there. We also have a nice looking couch, but probably the most uncomfortable couch in existence. So it's a little unfortunate. We have the bench and we have a couple of like things up on the walls. So overall, it's a nice set to combine with this set in here, in my opinion. This is the ranch set. 
So the ranch set starts to introduce new items. I'm going to be real with you. I can't remember if I made the bathtub or if I bought the bathtub. So I'm going to put it there regardless. But the ranch is definitely more brown and white. While it's still rough, it definitely gives you a different like feel. It's not perfectly crafted, unlike the items in here. And it is quite different. While I'm a fan of the bed and maybe the couch, I'm not really a fan of the furniture itself like it seems like they've gone somewhere in between like log cabin and the homestead set but they've made it white and brown not entirely sure why um i can definitely see some people liking this type of set but it's generally not my thing up here is our first chandelier i'm a big fan of the chandeliers in this game we also have the water feature which seems a little bit odd and kind of out of place with the rest of it in my opinion but hey but overall, the set's alright. Not really my cup of tea, but I think that some people will enjoy it. Keep in mind, you can also recolor your stuff. So if you don't like the color of like the bed, for example, you can change the color, which will allow you to create you know, better combinations of furniture. The next set is the industrial set. This is where it seems to start to get into high tier stuff, in my opinion. I'm kind of a fan of this stuff. It's a little bit, you know, it's still in the wooden category and it's a little bit on the older side, but... It kind of gives like a kitchen feel like which i am a big fan of because i've been doing a lot of cooking as you can see if you combine this with the sink over here with the cooking benches and that up there i believe you can create a really good kitchen set with this stuff you also have a nice dining table here that you can use i wouldn't necessarily use the bed or the mirror but overall i think that this feels more cozy more comfortable than the previous sets next up is the ravenwood set i will admit i took a you know some liberties here and uh i put in some extra items like this toilet because i just couldn't resist you know but overall i'm a big fan of this set i just really like the the gothy feel to it i do apologize about that getting in the way but the the purple and the black and the pattern it just feels like a proper set like it feels like all of the items here kind of go together to create a proper furniture set rather than just kind of you know haphazard items thrown together like you know the water feature back there big fan of this i really like the centerpiece underneath the chandelier i'm not so sure about the spotlight up here but honestly every other piece in this set i'm a big fan of and i intend to recolor it and definitely use it in my final build so next up is the capital set. So as you can see, we're definitely starting to get into some fancy, fancy looking wooden furniture. And you also have patterns on a lot of different stuff. I can kind of see what they were going for with the patterns. Although I'm not really a fan. I think that I'd like this set more if it was without the patterns. Because you can see pattern here, pattern there, pattern on the couch, you know, patterns on the bed. I see what they're going for, but... I don't know, not really my jam. And I also noticed that the color scheme is a little bit weird. Like, look at that black, the gray, the brown, the white, the gold. It's just so many different colors that I don't know if I'm really a fan. I'm sure some people like it. And I'm sure you could recolor them into some interesting different designs. But personally, mm, not really my thing. Probably the favorite thing of mine for this set would be the seat over here. And this wall element over here. I think they're really cool and I could definitely use that. But the rest of the set just seems, I don't know, off to me. So it's not something I will personally be using in my final build. So we're now going to look at the Bellflower set. I will note that at this point, the items are taking a lot of magic logs and pallium ore. So it is definitely hard to obtain everything from this point on. So this set to me feels more marbly or like less cozy but more like fancy in my opinion i think that's what it focuses on we have the bed over here which i'm not sure why it's with this color it's a little bit weird it's green where nothing else is really green like you have the couch and you have the the wall but i don't know it just doesn't it doesn't feel right over here i like this i do i think this looks really good but i just don't like the green they've put in so the chandelier, I'm definitely a big fan of, as you may notice. I put it in the middle again. We have flower, which can definitely be used outside. I do like the flowers. I think you can build like a good, yeah, you know, a good garden with those. 
here we kind of have the the glass on the side of some of the objects this is what i was talking about with the fanciness like the glass over here the glass here the glass on the light it just feels more like older fancy rich people rather than like cozy which is what i'm into so i definitely think if you recolor you could definitely put it with some stuff but generally most of the set isn't really my jam i'm a big fan of the water fountain here and over here i definitely think they could be used outside alongside the plants but the furniture itself i don't know it's just that doesn't really vibe so now we're about to look at the Moonstruck set, which is by far my most favorite. So the Moonstruck here, it's like nice dark colors, but it's not only that, it's the patterns of the moon and the stars, I think it's really good. But even on top of that, it feels like a proper set. So for example, if you look at the table, you have the same logos on a lot of different stuff and it doesn't jump out at you. It kind of like, it fits in and it feels authentic and you know while it may not be something people have IRL I definitely feel like I'm here I feel like you know this is really good stuff and you can jump in the bathtub I like the candles I think the candles are a big thing that swings it for me as you can see I've put them in the middle of the room just the candles and the witchy feel it feels really good I think if I stuck more candles in here maybe a couple of plants and more just some more stuff to fill it in i think this room would be amazing and this is by far my most favorite furniture set in the game last but not least let's look at the dragon tide set so you may notice here the dragon is on everything especially if you look at this thing here if you look at every object you're going to see dragons the dragons on the bottom with a similar pattern and a similar color scheme throughout all of it two more dragons here even the pots have dragons so whoever created this end game dragon tide set definitely put a lot of effort into putting similar patterns and dragons on everything that you create i really like this i like the dragon heads on the top but unfortunately it's so different like it feels like a lot of the furniture is like um it doesn't have add-ons like sure they have their patterns but they don't have like dragon head stuff like that so even if you recolor the dragon set i think putting this in a kitchen would be difficult because it just looks very different over here we have the cupboard the clock i'm a fan of the bed i like the bed i like that they put the dragon heads on the top and on the bottom i'm a big fan i don't know how comfortable it would be to lay in but i think this looks aesthetically pleasing we have some flowers over here then we have another unit which is what is this this is the sideboard so we have the dragon tide silken i'm gonna be honest i have no idea what this is it kind of looks like a massage table or a single bed i'm assuming it's a bed up here we have the dragon tide mirror which was expensive to make but i got it regardless we have some more flowers here i kind of wish that was more more flowers to put inside these pots or you could just like any flower to put in them rather than the one set in the middle we have like a majestic looking table i'm sure that if people sat down there they'd be intimidated over here we have a fan another table and a chair which while it looks pretty uncomfortable i think that as a throne looks pretty cool over here we have some storage space and a lantern as you can see the dragon set definitely has the most amount of uh work put into it like extras added on it probably thought put into like the patterns on the top and the bottom of each object but because it looks like it's had so much more extra work put into it, it seems a little bit, I don't know, different from the rest of the sets. And the only thing that could even be close to comparable would be the Moonstruck set. Okay, so that covers everything for the sets in Palia. I just want to note that I could have made this really look a lot better by adding in more carpets, by adding in, like, mixing the sets together. But I really wanted to show this video focusing on the sets and in their own rooms. So you can kind of look at a set and be like, I like that set. I'm going to create my house or my room around this set. Rather than just seeing a room and copying it. Like seeing a kitchen. Like I'm going to build a kitchen like that. I hope this video has helped you kind of get a feel of what furniture you want to make. And which ones you don't. Because some of them are really expensive.
Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, guys.